from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We've got a damp field with this rain in the forecast for tonight's game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Auburn Tigers. Look up rivalry in the dictionary, and you might as well see a picture of these two SEC schools. Today's winner will have bragging rights for a long time, folks. And here come the Tigers. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Auburn looks at this young man as their playmaker on defense. He's able to rush the passer or stop the run, and it's his play as to why I'm picking them to win this game today. But it's going to be close, Coach. I've been quiet about it, but I think it's finally time for my pick. This one's easy. I'm picking the Bulldogs. Fields it in the end zone. He spins around. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. And they have three bunch. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to the senior. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and six to go. Ball on their own 25. Number 12 with three wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Throw. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. Throws it to the outside into traffic and it's picked off he tried to force that one in there yep and the safety made him pay for it great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better kick quarterback is the leader of this team but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush you got that right Brad he's the focal point of this offense and the defensive line knows it they're going to be coming after him hard today when you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest we'll see how he handles the pressure They'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. Number 12 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws. And it's caught. And he's tackled. That's four yards on the play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Rolls to the right. Looks. He zips it out to the left. 
Incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball in 34. They line up in a double tight set. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. Dropped by the wideout. on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive silver. Kick this one off. Number 16 and number 20 back to return. He puts it deep downfield. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 23. The Bulldog come out of the power eye. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Second and 10, all on the 23-yard line. The Bulldog come out showing three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Short toss. Has his fullback. Brought down. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and then gets the ball out of there. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 32. Georgia lines up in a goal line set. going to be sacked for a loss. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there, but I'll tell you what, the reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on it. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. This one away. Punts the ball away. Number 25 takes it to 32. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 37.
Single set backfield. They go with a toss, and he's going to throw to the quarterback. And he's stopped behind the line. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. High formation here. They go with a pitch to the right. Halfback pass, and it falls incomplete. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. Got it. And down he goes. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Auburn comes out with three receivers bunt. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, throws. The senior makes the catch. And the completion nets him very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. Second and seven coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Looking. He's rolling left. He fires right. And it's caught for the touchdown. And he just called in his second touchdown catch of the day. The defense needs to put somebody on this guy before he does some serious damage. Getting pressure on the quarterback is also key. You can't let this guy play pitch and catch with his receivers all day. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. kick this one off number 16 and number 20 set to return he kicks it number 16 fields it in the end zone so the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going they'll set up shot at the 20 Georgia comes to the line with three wide He drops back, steps up, throws this one out to the left. Batted ball. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Second and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. They'll line up in the power eye. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. 
found his man. And he's all the way down to the 49-yard line. Now that was a good-looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Bulldog line up with three wide. He jukes it. And he's taken down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Bulldog come out in a two tight end set. Another run. Tries to juke. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. It's third down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Georgia, ready to put this one away. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number three, calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 18-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 18. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. He steps up, looks. He's going left. And they make the stop. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Auburn, 14. Georgia, nothing. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Six DBs in the lineup. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Dead ball. Won't start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. First down and 15 to go. Ball on their own 30. Play action, and they get the sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down to the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Auburn comes out with three receivers bunt. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 23. And they have three receivers bunched. Drops back to pass. Looking. Going deep. Lays it out there. 
It falls incomplete. No catch that time, and he is last. These wideouts should try to bulk up more because, man, they could get hurt. Auburn ready to put this one away. Number 30 gets it off. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, he had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll start this drive at the 42-yard line. Georgia sets up in the eye. fake throws down the middle and he can't hang on to it the pass was right there just couldn't be controlled just tied in some more passes in practice he needs all the help he can get second and ten ball on the 42 going with the shotgun here he drops back, steps up, he's looking. He'll dump this one off, almost intercepted. You gotta be careful throwing into coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 42. The Bulldog, set up in the gun, back to pass. Throws it out there, complete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. The Bulldogs are lining up to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 25 takes it to the 23. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. So remember, he had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll get the ball here at the 26. The Tigers go with the I formation. Pitch is right. And now he's going to throw it. It's tipped. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. The Tigers line up in an I formation. Toss. He spins. They'll bring him down. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's third and inches. Ball on the 36. Two tight ends here. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is nothing new if you follow this team. They like to run the ball in these kind of situations. Terrific third down play call there. It's first and 10, ball on the 41. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. Drops back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Bunch formation. He drops back. He steps up, throws. 
And it's the senior. They'll drop him for a loss. A one yard loss. One yard loss on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The defense lines up with six DB. Steps up, looks. He tosses it short. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 29 takes it to 15. Not a whole lot of success the last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of standing on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll go to work at the 17. Number three with three wide receivers. Nice play fake. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. He's hit and got away. Tackle. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 32. Georgia goes with the ace set here. Setting up the play action. Throw short. Complete. They'll bring him down. They'll grab 10 yards there. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 42-yard line. Georgia comes out with two tight ends. Play action, throws, and they couldn't hook up on that one. It's third and inches, ball on the 42. The Bulldogs line up in a goal line formation. Georgia will line up in a jumbo set here. Drop back to pass. Throw short. And it's gone. Brought down. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Short toss. And he dropped it. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight ends gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass, steps up, looking, he lets it go. Couldn't haul it in. They line up to pump this one away. He punts it. Number 25 fields it to 17. At 
the 40. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll take over at the 49. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Setting up the play action. And that one's fallen incomplete. Now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul, first down. They call him for interfering with a receiver. Well, I don't know about that one. The refs can get a little picky out there sometimes. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Single set back for you. Shake and bake move. And they make the stop. The Tigers call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 35. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Picked off. And down he goes. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Set up shot at the 40. Georgia goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He's going right. Number three with the interception. He didn't throw it away under pressure. It really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up the ground. He's got to learn to take a sack. Start this drive at the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. Yeah, Auburn dude. lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 27. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. On the ground with the tailback. Juku. Tackle. This back did everything he could to get him out of that long yardage situation, but it still isn't enough for the first. Auburn calls a timeout. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 40. Blocking this D tackle when he's in the zone he's in won't be easy. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Yeah. 
The Tigers line up with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Across the middle. He's into the open field. The 10. He goes down. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. Who has this defense? Who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Another run. And he's tackled. They get five yards on the play. Auburn takes a timeout. Number 37 in to attempt the short field goal. The kick is up. And it's through the upright. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. As they head to the locker room, it's been a one-sided affair. The score, Auburn, 17, Georgia, nothing. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He hits a booming kick. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come on out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. up the play action throws it to the outside got him on the run across midfield loses the football and they bring him down the big fella puts the ball on the turf but it's recovered by the offense fullbacks block all day long so when they finally get a carry they've got to make the most of it yep they can't fumble like this guy how many carries do you think we'll see him get zero not a none zero huh that's pretty harsh I'd say give him another chance if he does a good job of blocking. Make him earn the next carry. And this defensive end is looking to get into that backfield. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete. And he's shoved out of bounds. Couple of yards at most on that pass. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. And the impact tight end is hoping to get the ball in his hands. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short, and it's caught. And they make the stop. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Georgia comes out of the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. 
He steps up. He's going to take off. They'll bring him down. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. He jukes. Looks like he's going to run. And he's tackled. Third and two. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They're crowding the line. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play action pass and stretch out this defense. I was just going to say that. But don't be surprised if they don't go and go to the air right now. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. So it's second and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. They'll run the option. Here's an opening. He makes a pitch. Brought down. They get about four on that keeper. Gain of four on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. They'll be stopped before they reach the first down marker. Now that was some real hard nosed defense. Way to bring up fourth down, guys. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Georgia to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 28 takes it at the four. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 28. Ace backfield. They'll give it off here. A little juke. Spins up field. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. The Tigers line up with three wide. They hand it off again. And they make the stop. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Down the middle. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. Third down 
behind seven. Ball on their own 44. This impact defensive tackle is looking to bust through that O line. Back to pass. Bunch to throw outside. It falls incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. The Tiger are lining up the punt it away. He gets it off. He dropped it. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. This one out to the right. Touchdown, Auburn! Folks, if you're just tuning in, you have missed quite a performance. That last catch was his third touchdown grab of the day. He has been so exciting to watch. on the extra point. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, Auburn 24, Georgia 3. Auburn is ready to kick it away. Kicks it deep. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He's going to take off. He's on the run. And he's tackled. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. He's got an opening. Fumble, loose ball. The offense falls on it, and down he goes. They run the option, and it almost cost them. You can't fumble the football like that. The coach is calling the option because he trusts his players to take care of the football. They are very, very fortunate to get that one back. They sure are. That one had turnover written all over it. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 41. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. Takes off a tackle. Here he goes. Inside the 30. To the 20. And he's brought down. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing.
tight end is in the zone. Counter play. And they make the stop. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Auburn 24, Georgia 3. Right now, the tight end is in the zone. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He tosses it short. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. I think the combination of the short field and the zone defense made the quarterback uncomfortable, and it caused a bad throw. He needs to be able to adjust, Kirk. Every defense can be beaten one way or the other. You just have to be able to see the hole. They set up with an eye down by the goal line. Watch the play action on this one. They go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They'll lose yardage on that quarterback keeper. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Getting into the backfield and breaking up that play. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Turn it over. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll set up shot at the 12-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Makes a move. With the spin, tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10, ball in the 23. The Tigers line up with three receivers bunched. Pitch is right. They'll bring him down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. High formation here. Bring him down for a sack on the play. So he's sacked by the fifth-year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. Third and 15 coming up. Ball in the 18. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. Throws back across field. Complete. And down he goes. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 29 takes him to 32. He looks to be hurt down there. Well, 
They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. Georgia comes out in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking, and they got it. The defense has four sacks in the ballgame. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 30. They come out in a nickel. Drop back to pass. Big opening. And he's tackled. Third and ten. Ball in their own 38. Don't be surprised to see this defensive end wreak havoc back there. Back to pass. He steps up. Throws this one out to the left. He jukes him. Brought down. It's another 100-yard receiving performance out there by one solid player. So what else is doing? This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Gets past the tackler. And he's hit as he throws. Picks it off. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. At the 19-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 21. They come out with a big set. They'll go with a fullback. And he's taken down. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. It's third down and seven to go. Ball in the 22. Defense lines up with six DB. He drops back. And he's hit as he throws. And he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. the punt. Number 30 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 16 builds it for 31. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. From the shotgun. 
Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws short. And he's got the freshman. And they make the stop. Georgia calls a timeout. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 48. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Over the middle. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and a yard. Ball right around midfield. Number three is back in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it go. Got it. He goes down. Georgia takes a timeout. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Number three is in the zone and looking to make a play. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. He's looking. Throws to the middle, and it falls incomplete. No catch that time, and he is blasted. These wideouts should try to bulk up more because, man, they could get hurt. Second and ten. Ball on the 18. The Tigers line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. And now he's going to run. Touchdown, Georgia. So he calls a pass in the huddle, but calls his own number once the ball is snapped. What a run. I think he saw an opening there and realized he could make it to the end zone. the PAT. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Auburn 24, Georgia 10. much of a choice here. They need to go for the onside kick. With the onside kick. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. No need to risk a fumble. A simple kneel down will do here. Kneel it here. Georgia calls a timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 50. Auburn is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. Third and 14, ball on the 48-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Auburn faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score in this one, Auburn 24, Georgia 10. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, 
I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.